Steam Drunk? One of the most strange and random things I found on Steam recently is Umihara Kawase. Not because the game is all that weird, although I guess it kind of is, but because this game was a Japan exclusive game released for Super Famicom back in 1994. So why is this on Steam? I don't know. From what I can tell, this is just about the exact same game. They kept the aspect ratio at 4-3 and everything, although they did add a practice option in a menu at the title screen here. The gameplay is all the same though. You play as a little girl with a fishing pole that you swing around and stick the hook into just about any surface and reel yourself in. On the surface, this might look similar to something like Bionic Commando for NES, or even the grapple beam from Super Metroid. The difference, however, is what the game refers to as rubbering action, and that's an adequate way to describe the physics here. Your fish fishing line may as well be made of rubber the way it behaves as you swing around in any and every direction to help propel yourself past enemies and to get to otherwise unreachable ledges. The level design does a nice job complementing this aspect of the gameplay, providing lots of wide open space, plenty of surfaces and ledges that are just barely in reach if you swing yourself at the right angle and the right velocity. Really a big part of Umihara Kawase is the replay value that comes with finding our way around these big open ended stages. There's all sorts of different ways to go about each level, whether it's on purpose or or not. If you're into speedrunning in particular, this is a great game for it. Look up some speedruns on YouTube and see what some people are capable of, it's pretty cool. Also, do not be fooled by how cutesy Umihara Kawase looks. This game is brutally difficult. One hit deaths, no continues, no saves, and death traps everywhere. The game implores you to try crazy leaps of faith in order to progress. You can stun enemies, almost all of which appear to be fish, with your fishing hook. You can reel them in to put them into your backpack to presumably eat at a later date. I can't imagine how bad that backpack must smell. But yeah, it's reasonably easy to take out enemies, but they respawn at odd intervals. Combine that with the swinging around and the lack of a floor in most levels, and you get how freaking difficult this game is. Anyway, Umehara Kawase has two sequels, one for PS1, and one made many years later for the 3DS. Both of those games are on Steam as well, and you can buy a package for all three for $30. So yeah, to clear up the confusion, Umehara Kawase is not a retro stylized game. It actually is over 20 years old, so while it's odd to see this of all things on Steam, be glad that it is, because it's pretty dang good.